In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Then the one she chooses is... Wait, 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 wait. And the one she chooses is... She, Mio, Reine, Shin, Shido. How are we going to end this episode? We're going to have to kiss Westcott. Are we going to have to do a four-way kiss between Shido, Reine, Mio, Shin, and then everything is good? Let's find out. Still on that beach in that domain, yeah. Mio. That's right, she wanted Shin, not Shido. That's right, it's Shido. Cameraman took an L here. The cameraman perspective should have been from the front, not the back angle. Yo, chill the fuck out. Borway mm -hmm. kiss? No! We want to live in peace with our harem? <laughs> never, never mind, bro. Just wanted to fucking kill me. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Oh, baited? Oh, baited? Okay, what about Shinji though? This, okay, I, I think a lot of people... No, Shinji doesn't exist right now. Shinji exists in this domain. He's not real, right? I forgot. I was like thinking about... What about Shinji's happiness? But like, it doesn't really matter. He just kind of exists for now in this domain. Yeah? Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck that Shinji guy, the kid that you gave birth to. <laughs> what the fuck is this face? This is even for like a shoujo art, this is like ugh. <laughs> uh, is she gonna fall for that? Is she actually gonna fall for that? Yeah, that's funny though, it's funny, Riz. Wait, what Shinji thinks right now, just existing right beside him. What's he gonna say? It's just the Omega cuck of this show. Bro's already dead and he's getting his girl stolen in front of him in this fucking dreamland, bro. Like, what is he gonna possibly say? I don't know, are you? Fake of a fake. I feel terrible for Shin. Okay. So based. Thank God they did this. Thank God he didn't just roll over and was like, yeah, you can just take my girl. I'm fine with this. Because, like, this whole scenario is so messed up. This is extremely good. Faked out again! I feel bad. God, bro, fucking faked this out too, like the other guy time. Remember? Shida was like, yeah, I just want to kill you. Psych! Is what you want me to say? So, like... Yeah, I guess he doesn't exist anymore, right? Just so bad. Can he can he not just exist in peace and happiness too? I mean, Rene, is she gonna exist with Mio along the side? I don't know how this is all gonna work. That's, that's, that's like a yikes, man. That's like a yikes, man. Okay. Like Tengu City. But damn, feels bad for Shin, man. Westcott! Yeah. He did the same shit, and now he's the origin. 
Yes. Westcott is the spirit, right? So I don't know how this makes sense. Is Westcott the spirit or is he summoning another spirit? Like, like, we're actually gonna have to kiss him. Like, if he does become a spirit, and that's what they're hinting at, the only way you can seal a spirit is to kiss. Yeah, Westcott's ass to address. What's that gonna look like? <laughs> Put him in a fucking magical girl outfit. <laughs> nah, he's probably gonna remain in this suit. So. Gathering everyone here so he could become the origin. That's such a bullshit power, man. That's such a bullshit power, man. Now we team up and fight against Westcott. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you kill all your children. There it is. At the end of the day, Westcott is MVP. Why is Westcott MVP? Because without him, there is not an antagonist, a common antagonist that we can band together. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. You know? So now we are all gonna be joining together, beat Westcott, kiss him, and then he can join our harm too. I don't know how that's gonna work. Oh. Bye. I feel bad for you, man. So... <laughs> so polite. <laughs> Rainy gonna disappear too? I don't know how that's gonna work. New soundtrack? It's the day to life theme, but very triumphant. Again, every time Shido shows up, all the girls, like, all ten of them, Shido, Shido, Dali, Shido, 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 Dali, Shido, 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 oh my god, you're back! Ooh. It's time to go on a date. Come on, can we just, like, shall we go on a date? You know the classic date a lie line, like, imagine we say that. Now, shall we begin our fucking date against Westcott? All according to plan. What kind of powers does he have now? That's his Demon King? It's like the separate tree. Beriel. Beriel. So Beriel is Einsof inverse, right? It's basically Einsof inverse. I don't know how to feel about that. Because I wanted to see inverse Mio. But like Westcott is now the closest thing we can get to inverse Mew. Well, the the the, the spirit. The, sorry, the angel is the inverse. But like I wanted to see like you know inverse Mew too. Also, speaking about inverse, where the fuck is Tenka? Like, are we really gonna end the season? Tenka never showed up once in season five. The fuck? I feel like she had no. She did show up. She did show up. She did show up in like the. Memories with Toka and just kind of talking with her, but I guess she never manifested and just showed up to fight, huh? Just rewrite it with Ainz. My tree versus your tree! Let's go! No, 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 no. This time, we're not killing the girls. This time, we're just like borrowing their powers in a nice way without killing them, okay? And again! <laughs> Holy shit. Nia in astral dress. This is rare. I've been shitting on Nia a bit too much. It's not even her fault. She just got benched, but finally she can fight with us. <laughs> sure. Origami! My waifu! It really is always Origami versus Artemis. And then fucking Mana versus, uh... Eden. Buffs, buffs! Damn! Combo attacks! Come on! 
What the fuck was that? Did she just unlock Kotori's potential? Because clearly Muku unlocked something here and Kotori got stronger, right? Okay. What is it? It's it's a black flower instead. If we eat one, we die. Not Nibiruko. What? Wait, 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 wait. This is good Nibiruko. Nia. Nia? <laughs> I've raised your usefulness rating from a paramecium to a water flea. A paramecium is back in like high school days where it's just like this single organism that's like it's like the lowest level and it rises to a water flea. They are being very aware of Nia's quote unquote usefulness, you know, in this fucking season. Guess who it is? I don't know. It just looks like Nibiruko, but you know, other way around. <laughs> What? Maria somehow synchronized with with, with Razio? Oh, oh, I don't even know how that would work, but okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Perfect Maria. Why is she doing these Chuni poses? Maria is Chuni. Chuni AI. Great, it's, it's meat shields. Paper shields. I choose you. This is a Pokemon. <laughs> That's a straight up Pokemon reference where Ash can't control the fucking Charizard because too high level and don't have enough gym badges. Could Shiro charm Maria an AI? Like, if you can riz up an AI, I think that is profound power. Like, if you use the fucking... The kiss, right? The, the, the long range kiss attack like we use on Nibirukul. You think that, like, Maria would just get- Oh! Oh! Let's go, Yoshino! Everyone's spirits! Everyone's angels! What? Kamehameha move before and now I've got some kind of spirit fist? That impact! Ooh. He's dead! And the tree too? We just defeat the- no, no. <laughs> What? What now? What? Wait, 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 I, 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 you don't- he have another one? Wait, wait, wait. He, uh, uh, different sub modes, different mode, like I, yeah, 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 basically different like inverse techniques of, you know, uh, Mio, like Mio had Ainz, the Kemetiel is Ain. okay. Kemetiel. No, you're not gonna sacrifice yourself. You're not gonna sacrifice yourself so we can be with the rest of the girls. No. Then you're probably gone too! Shinji secretly going like, Fuck yes, there is justice in this world, but a fuck him I have to sit in the back while this motherfucking Shiro gets my girl. Yes, good, come join me in the fucking afterlife. Shiro? Confirmed at the end. Well, well, well. Mio is for the streets now. Nah. <laughs> okay, we actually got rejected at the fucking end by mom, man. <laughs> feels kind of bad, but... Feels kind of bad, but she's gonna meet Shin. All right, all right. Do, does that mean we keep Reine? Can we keep Reine though? Ouch! That's the last words? Damn. Intermission scene, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. West caught a meal. What's gonna happen to you two now? Deus. <laughs> His face got so fucked up from that punch. He is looking so bad. Close all 
so dusted. Damn. I went there with like a fist imprint in his, you know, fast out of the face. <laughs> これからの世界にいてはいけ。おお、ですさ、さあ、どう。なぜ。そもそも精霊など踏み出すべきではなかったんだ。ただ、まあ、そうだな。君は私の好みではなかった。Double rejection. She don't get rejected. Westcat gets rejected. She just going all fucking cylinders right now. Fuck you. Fuck you. What is this soundtrack? It sounds like um Kurumi's soundtrack, but there's opera right now happening, right? It's it's Kurumi's theme, but there's opera, right? <laughs> No, Mio. Okay, Mio's last moments. She did. She did. Shin? This is Shin, right? Waiting in the afterlife. This is Shin right now. Just had Mushoku Tensei. Well, that was last last week ago, actually. They can't, you know, position to be Mother's Day, but... Rest in peace. Well, at least she gets reunited, right? At least they get reunited in the afterlife. I don't know how that works. That's actually a really good ending for Mio. She gets to be with this her beloved. Ed? Hmm. Are we gonna get closure for Westcott too? Is he gonna apologize? I don't think that's possible. Old times, Brody. You gotta get some closure, man. My friend. Oh. I actually feel kind of bad for Westcott. Yes, yes, we can acknowledge that he's an evil, evil person. Yes, I get it. Insane sociopath. His backstory was insane. But, but, you know, he was able to be that antagonist that rounded everyone else up. And then Elliot, Westcott, you know, deal in the past. You know, they used to be friends. You know, it feels bad. <sighs> Mew did reject Elliot. Well, kind of, right? Because, like, Elliot in the back past, it was heavily implied that he was into her, but then he was like, shit, I'm outclassed by this Shin guy. And then, yeah, basically, right? So, <laughs> Westcott, Elliot, you know, everyone got fucking rejected, man. Everyone fucking got rejected. Only Shin fucking got it. <laughs> What's Ellen gonna do now? It was this easy to obtain? I think there's a deeper meaning there in it was easy to obtain as he faces death and he realizes that maybe the people around him truly loved him? Is he just simply talking about his death or is he talking about like this feeling of acceptance and love from his companions and friends like Elliot right now, Kata and Ellen, they're all crying for him, right? I'm not sure. Not really sure what's implied here. Most likely his death, but that was a pretty profound line. Rest in peace. What do we do now? She dead. She would rather die and reject us than be with us. No, that's not true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Hold! The bear! The fucking bear! Yo! The bear is coming down with the 
Sephira. Is that Mio Sephira? What is this? The bear. We got the bear. The bear survived. This cheeky ass fucking bear survived that fight. That's insane. What is it made of? Rainy is gone then, huh? Because Rainy is part of Mio. I guess we don't keep Rainy, huh? We can just use her powers and that's it? Hotori's best friend, Rainy. Yeah, she did. There's nothing we can really do with that Sephira, huh? Because like... It's still here, but like, what could we really do with it? I wonder. Is this ending? Okay, no, no, no. It's just, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Date episode? I don't know. Happy ending? AST people? Mana? Oh, you remember? That was like the fan, and it was a whole sad thing of Nia not wanting to be close, but now they're together. I remember this plot line. Just casual sexual harassment from, you know. Miku as usual to the girls because if a guy did it then we bad if a girl does it like, you know double standard so it's fine right? Yep. Kurumi with so many cats. What about? What? what wait. What? 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 It's that's not the friend. Is that the friend? How could it be the friend? It's a new friend that reminds him of the old friend that died, right? What? 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 What about her closure though of going back in the past and saving everybody? Right? What does this imply right here? I'm not sure. Is it Sawa? I don't know. It's not showing us her face. I don't fucking know how this is working. That cat really hates her though. <laughs> that cat really hates Kunami, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Now, say the line. Let's go on a date! And... Ladies and gentlemen, this seems to be the end of season five and we got a pretty good ending, pretty good closure. But what does this mean for season six content and beyond? Can there be season six after this? The main conflict is over. And yes, the Sephira from Mio descended down, but it seems like everyone's plot points has been kind of wrapped up to the point where it's very ambiguous, right? They could end the series here. Or they could just continue season 6 and have more content. There is no more bigger antagonist. There is no more important story points to be wrapped up, right? Everyone's goals, everyone's... Everyone's different plot points, it seems to have tied... Tied up? Un unless there's an antagonist that I'm not really sure of, but... That's it for me. I think that... I, I, I'd hope that... You know, Data Live continues with future seasons, but I just got my fingers crossed and that's pretty much it. This series, this series, I know that a lot of people might talk shit about Data Live. I talked shit about Data Live before I started this, but let it be known that this is the series that saved my channel from the beginning. Something where I asked my community what you want to watch and we watched Data Live and it was a random fucking shot in the dark and it was Stupid in the beginning. Absolutely. Go to the episode one. We start off with the 13 year old panties being, you know, flaunted. But the more I started to watch it, the more I start to get really into it. And I'm glad that the Daylight community has enjoyed my reactions as much as I enjoyed the show. Top girls, I'll do that on a separate video or something. I just want to say thank you to everyone that's tuned out for the Data Live content. I don't know if this is the end of Data Live seasons. I hope that there's more content moving forward. But you know what? This could be a good ending point and. Just give yourself a round of applause for everyone for sticking out to the end. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.